Okay, guys, welcome to another video. This is just kind of like a show and tell of something I picked up. I actually picked it up a while ago. I'm just now getting around to listing it, but I'm going to tell you the story about this shirt and give you kind of some hints. And I want to see if you can figure it out before I actually show it. If you do figure it out, just let me know in the comments that you figured it out before I actually showed it. So we'll talk about the shirt and a little bit of the history on it from the client that I picked it up from. And I will also tell you how I acquired this shirt. Something maybe you can implement when you're trying to source vintage t-shirts or just source anything actually. So there's so many different outlets out there where you can post and you can source different t-shirts, garage sales, estate sales, Goodwill, and other thrift stores, you're competing with a lot of different people. Uh, the way I got this shirt, just a way that can tell people to just talk to you if they have stuff. You're not competing with a lot of different people. So I, I really enjoy this. And once I start sourcing again, I'm gonna start using this method going forward to try to get more things to resell. All right, so the way I acquired this shirt is I made a post on the website or the app called Nextdoor. I'm sure most of you have heard of Nextdoor by now, but if you're not, Nextdoor is just a platform that allows you to talk to people in your community, like where you live, like in your neighborhood or close to your neighborhood, maybe the outskirts of your main neighborhood and your main area where you live. You can talk to people in your community. You can get people to come cut your grass, do chore, whatever, you know, find people in your community and help support each other. So I made a post on Nextdoor when I first moved to this neighborhood and I made a post introducing myself and letting everybody know what I do that I resell on the side. And I was, this is when I was looking for just vintage. I let everybody know that I was looking for old vintage, anything 20 years or older that maybe you just have like stuck in the closet or stuck in the attic and you don't know how to get rid of it. Stuff you're never gonna wear again, but stuff you don't necessarily wanna give away and stuff you don't necessarily know how to sell. There's a lot of people that have stuff just sitting and they don't know what to do with it, but they don't wanna just like give it away or throw it away. So I made this post and was very detailed on what I was looking for. I got several replies and I was able to source some good stuff from these people that replied. But somebody reached out to me one time and they said they had a t-shirt and this is where I wanna see if you guys can figure it out. I'm gonna explain this t-shirt without giving it away. So they said they had a t-shirt. It's been sitting in storage for a long time a long time, I'm over 50 years. And they've just they've just had it and they didn't know what to do with it. It's just been in storage. So they reached out to me and they wanna know if I wanted it. Now this t-shirt is a super, super rare t-shirt, okay? I've only found, since I've been researching this t-shirt, I've only found like three t-shirts from the year that this t-shirt was produced. And I've only found two that have sold. So to me, it's very rare, but it's a very popular, it's probably just gonna give it away like already. It was a very popular, music festival from the late 60s now in this music festival there's not any official t-shirts from the music festival all the t-shirts that came from this music festival came from vendors who printed their own t-shirts for this particular music festival and they sold them at their own booths you know just like if you go to a crafts fair and you see people selling t-shirts and art this is one of those booths that was selling these particular t-shirts and the client that I got this from the person that reached out for me he said he bought it on his way out of the venue and when he got it back to his hotel to try it on it didn't fit so he's never worn this t-shirt this t-shirt is from 1969 from a very popular music festival and he's never worn it but it doesn't look like it's never been worn so I'm a little confused how just storing this t-shirt just kind of like gets this way if you're just storing it but Whatever, I can only take him by his word. So now for the reveal of the t-shirt, let's get to it. I have an original Woodstock t-shirt from 1969. There it is, right there. All right, so how much did I pay for this t-shirt? Well, at the time, there wasn't anything out there. I didn't know how to price this shirt. We'll, we'll go over like the prices of the shirts that are out there now in a second. But at the time I was sourcing this shirt from this gentleman, I did not know any price range of the shirt. So I kind of went into it and I had a number in my head. I had, I was prepared to pay a hundred dollars for this shirt to resell it. And I told him, I said, just give me a number and we'll go from there. And he said, $25. I didn't pay $25 for it. I gave him 50, which is 50 less than what I was expecting to pay for it. I'm hoping I can get at least $500 for this. But hey, I'm gonna go hang it up in this other room and we're gonna get a better look at it. Okay, here we are in my room where I take pictures and everything. We switched to the cell phone. I don't have a microphone other than the cell phone, so I'm sorry if it sounds too different. But here is my setup. Here's my lights right here and where I take my pictures. But this is the shirt. As you can see, it's 
discolored all the way through it. Now I've let this soak. I've taken it through two soaking cycles to try to get some of the discoloring out and it did work quite a bit. At least now I think this thing will look good if you wear it. Uh, there's a few areas down here that have marks on it, but I mean, look at the tag right here. You see the tag, you can't even read it. So the guy told me it's never been worn but I don't know if he just doesn't remember wearing it or what. It This looks like it's been worn, but I mean, structurally it seems okay, right? Except for the tag. This tag is a heavy indicator. This thing's been washed uh, and worn several times. There is a very small hole right here, but the print on the shirt is just perfect there, as you can see. And so it's a very cool t-shirt. It's a very cool, uh, rare t-shirt, unique t-shirt. And I'm just proud to have it uh, as part of my inventory. So, so yeah, I really don't know how to price it though. I've got a price on it. I'll tell you in just a second. This ended up being a size small. It's 18 inches from pit to pit. And I think it's about 26 inches from here. Uh, down to the bottom the hem so uh yeah it's definitely gonna fit as a small all right guys so here's my store i have it listed down here we'll look at it closer uh for a thousand dollars but if we do the vintage 1969 woodstock t-shirt and we start looking wood out there is available for the 1969 woodstock uh you see a lot of reprints vintage 90s 1969 1969 this is clearly you can see the tag already it's uh, they're all reprints from the 1969 woodstock so these reprints have been happening for years and there is one right here is a vintage 60s Woodstock Festival. Uh, this seems to be an original. This comes from the captain's vintage. He's very well known in the vintage world. So uh, I kind of been watching this particular shirt. Uh, he's trying to sell it for $9,500. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty, that's a pretty hefty price on this t-shirt. But you know, there's just not a lot out there. So it's hard to price it properly. And then there's mine that shows up in the search. And as I'm scrolling, I just don't see another original from 1969. So like I said, there's not a lot out there and it's kind of hard to gauge what to price this at. Now I switched it to the sold items and we're going to look and I do believe there was one that sold an original right here. Yeah, this seems to be an original vintage Woodstock t-shirt 1969 for $500 that somebody paid. Yeah, definitely an original. You see the tag there in the shirt. And uh, someone got $500 for this t-shirt. Yeah, there's a lot of reprints, ton of reprints. And then in the 90s, like in the mid 90s, they did another Woodstock. And some of those t-shirts are in here too. If you find those, those are also very profitable. Uh, but the one from 1969, I just don't know how uh, to price it. I did a lot of research on it and there's just not a lot out there. So it's a fairly rare t-shirt. So there's the one that's selling for $9,500 which I think is a little extreme, uh, but you never know until, you know, you try it. So props to him for trying. But if we go to mine, I thought $1,000 was just kind of like a good price. And, you know, I thought there was a best offer option on this. Let's go here. Okay. If we go to the, the big site right here, make offer, uh, there is a best offer option on here. So I have it up for sale for a thousand dollars. I just kind of want to do a show and tell with you guys and show you guys the shirt. Cause I thought it was really cool. You can go add this to your watch list if you want and see when it sells. And when it does sell, I will probably do a video on it. Just give you guys an update on it. All right guys. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the show and tell on the t-shirt. Like I said, I'll keep you updated. And also if you want to keep up with my journey of becoming a full-time reseller in 365 days, uh, we're still working on that. Uh, there is a playlist down in the description and you can watch all the videos that I put in that playlist uh, that shows my progression to becoming a full-time reseller. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next video. Take care.